students let's continue with the symbol tables topic so in the previous video i explained what exactly the symbol table was and how you are going to implement the symbol table now let's see the symbol table data structures so what are the data structures that you are using in the symbol tables the data structure should be designed to allow the compiler to find the record for each name quickly and to store or retrieve data from that record quickly so what's the main use of the data structures in the symbol table concept okay so the symbol tables are used to store the information regarding the program if you want to find any pro, uh, record quickly with the help of the data structures the compiler is going to gather the informations and store the informations and retrieve the information quickly okay so that's the use of the data structures in the symbol table while compiling the programs so what type of data structures we can use in the symbol tables for storing and retrieving the data the first is linked list a linear list or linked list of records is the easiest way to implement the symbol table so the symbol table can be arranged in the form of linked list or it can be arranged in the form of binary tree or it can be arranged in the form of hash tables so that we already discussed now let's see the data structure linked list a linear list of records is the easiest way to implement the symbol table the new names are added to the symbol table in the order they arrive so one after another a new name will be suppose a new names want to be added to the record so it will be are uh, added to the symbol table in the order they arrive first come first so like that so whenever a new name is to be added first it searches linearly to check if the name is already present in the table or not suppose here a is already there a variable information regarding the procedure p the procedure p information is already present in the symbol table suppose you want to uh, add again the p first the compiler will checks whether the p is present in the symbol table or not suppose if the p is present it continue with the program if it is not present it add another record in the list okay so now uh, that what is the time complexity of this linear list the linked list uh, data structure time complexity is order of n okay because it is very uh, it is easiest way to implement the symbol table the advantages of linear list that is a linked list is it occupies the less space and the additions adding the records are simple and coming to the disadvantage disadvantage is higher access time is needed if you want to search a record in the linear list it takes time to search for the record now coming to the next data structure that is a binary trees the binary trees is an efficient approach for symbol table organization so if you want to organize the fields data in the symbol table this binary tree is somewhat efficient approach we add two links that is from left and right in each record in the search tree whenever a name is to be added first search in the tree so in the same way like linked list whenever you want to add a new name here you first search in the tree if does not exist then add a record for new name is created and add it proper position this has a alphabetic accessibility so let's see here the binary tree so the binary tree if you take the main program uh, so the variables that are declared there and the, the, it is present at the line one so the main program is having the different procedures so one procedure of line in line 3 up to line 11 and another uh, module with is a, in the main program a variables will be declared a variable on zero line, line 2 and a variable in line 4 so like that so wherever the variables are decreasing up to what accessibility uh, the means from line 2 to line 4 and line 4 to line 6 this variable will be accessed so like that so in this way the symbol table will be arranged so this is a completely a symbol table of a particular program which is stored in the form of binary tree and the next one next uh, data structure is the hash table the hash table is the mostly used symbol table in hashing scheme two tables are maintained a hash table and the symbol table 
a hash table is an array with index 0 to table minus 1. So, a table will be there, hash table. A hash table is will be stored like this, starting with the index 0 and the uh, table minus 1. These entries are pointer pointing to names of the symbol table. So, here the entries are pointing to the uh, symbol table with the help of pointer. To search for a new name, we use hash functions that will result in any integer between 0 to table and minus 1. So, here the insertion and lookup can be made very fast. So, that's why the time complexity is order of 1. So, in the hash table, in the binary table or the linker list, whatever you are doing, you will use the insertion operation and lookup operation to perform the operations in the symbol table. So, these are the different data structures that we used in the symbol table. Thank you.